Hey yo, welcome back everybody to Book. This might be like a late episode when you're seeing it, like coming out late, because I'm recording it at 4, and I usually post my videos at like 1.30, that's when I usually schedule them to go live, but it's all good, at least you're in the video, so there shouldn't be any complaining, you know what I'm saying? I don't think anyone ever complains about like, gamers, why don't you post more Terraria? But I just feel, as a Terraria content poster, and that this is one of my main series, I just feel bad that I don't post it. <laughs> just straight up. And I'm trying to complete the series. You know, we got a whole story going on. We still haven't done a blood move. We got like a whole story going on. So like, I feel like at this point, I have to complete the series. But yeah, let us do it. I don't think there's any new bosses left. I think we have fought every single new boss there is in this mod pack. And you know, the last one is from Elements Awoken. So I think it is time to wrap this series up. We only have a couple episodes left. Fuck, we have to fight the nebula pillar over there. Okay, so we're gonna fight Aragor. So we need an obsidian core. I'm hoping I can make that. I'm not 100% on this, though. So. Oof. Yeah, I had a feeling. We might just take on Poltergast real quick, then. What do I need? I need Oblivion Bars and Flare Ascension. Oh, fuck, I remember this. I remember this. Okay, we should be able to make Oblivion Bars. A good amount, actually. I think 20 was what we needed. I think Aragor's... Isn't Aragor's spawn, like, reusable? I don't think it is, actually. Oh, we only need 8. 50 wood, 25 flare essential. Okay, got it. Um, how do we fight Poltergast? We need to... Yeah, how do you fight Poltergast? You just kill stuff, right? What the hell? You just kill stuff? Or you can use the Necroplasmic Beacon, but that requires a lot of, uh... Phantoplasm, right? hundred minimum how much phantoplasm do i have a hundred exactly <laughs> what the fuck is that oh we doing it now we doing it now i have the highest hopes that we can kill this boss in one try and that this won't be a uh waste so i'm not worried at all i'm not worried at all let's destroy not fight let's destroy poltergast Let's destroy this boss so bad, they're going to have to buff him 30 times over. Okay, I'm lying. You know, uh, I fought Dog. If you guys didn't notice, I still haven't changed it either. Uh, look at my inventory. <laughs> Sharpshooter's soul wasn't on, and my pants weren't on. Which is very interesting. Now, I can officially say that I beat Dog without pants. You guys can't put that on your resume. I can put that on my resume. Beat Dog without my pants on accident okay because you can take off your pants and fight dog but you didn't do it on accident so it doesn't count <laughs> i 100 percent forgot that i took off my pants and the only reason why my pants were off in the first place uh, i always keep the sharpshooter soul off because it always be zooming in randomly for example that's me using the right click of book's bullet hell and that's what happens uh yeah i always turn that one off so that's why that was off and the reason why the pants are off is because the pants give you a speed boost. Now, I, I remember to put on this, the boots again. But I forgot to put on the pants. Because the pants, I always forget sometimes. If you guys watch older series, you know, I sometimes forget. But for uh, the intros, you know, where I'm like, hey, everybody, welcome back to Book. And there's a little, like, sound effect and then the things that pop up on the screen. When I do the green screen for Book, for the intros... I have to take off the Genji pants because Genji pants give you speed boost. And I take them off so the green screen is a lot easier to do. <laughs> so there's the reason why the pants are off. Um, I'm just making this arena a little bit bigger mainly because if there's any chance at all that this boss is extremely hard because we're in, uh, what's it called? Revengeance? You know, I just want to make sure I got a lot of room to fight them, so give me a little bit. So, I was making some campfires, you know, we just want to be safe just in case. And I found this, Tree of Life. 15% increased health restored by healing potions for nearby players. Really good. That's, like, extremely good. I don't think you guys understand how good that is. That's 15% of 300, which is a lot. I'm not good at math, so I'm not going to give you the exact number. Because, honestly, I don't know the exact number. Hold up, let's kill this one. That's some three souls if we kill. Does it? Alright. Let's go ahead. We'll just suck it in. Let's go ahead. Let's fight Poltergast. We can fight it multiple times anyway, so it's not like it matters if 
we lose the fight, because we have, you know, the ability to find her multiple times. Let me see what gun we should use here. Honestly, this might be the gun to use. We're in mid-range where this gun excels the most. And it has a nice little AoE hit. So, it's probably going to be the best choice here. Is, does he usually have a ghost that he summons? I'm not 100% sure about that one. Um, let's try this out. No, that's not right. Let's use this. I need to get rid of both of them. So that's why I'm going to switch to Boots Bullet Hell real quick just to kill the ghost version. Get out of here. Alright, ghost version is dead. We'll go back to this. Which does require me to aim. My pants aren't on. I just noticed that. Wait, my sharpshooter soul isn't on either. See, look, I'm, I'm noticing and starting to realize that, you know, you got to put on all your clothes if you want to do good in boss fights. A little little tip from Game Raiders 101. Uh, make sure you're wearing armor. <laughs> there is my tip. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial there. The tips and tricks. Game Raiders 101 edition. But let's let's slaughter this boss. I know I'm using Boots Pillow Hell right now. Because this fight's taking a really long time. <laughs> what about this? You guys want me to use this? Jesus Christ. It doesn't do any damage sad part <laughs> you think it would do more damage because you know look at it <laughs> doesn't this look like something that would do damage i don't know is it a p90 p90 doesn't even do damage p90 is really good for uh killing the dungeon guard you know because you know most moon lord stuff or not moon lord, most uh modded stuff or at least the mods that i have they require me to kill they don't require me but uh killing the dungeon guardian is recommended for certain items so that's why it is good to go ahead and do that and get a gun like the p90 or just any gun that pierces through defense but yeah we're not going to be using most of the stuff if it isn't already obvious doesn't he drop a bow do we just not get the bow that's pretty awesome uh ecto heart permanently makes the journey mode take five yeah we're good. uh angry affliction it's okay Effects are stronger in revenge mode. That's nice. Do they tell you how strong? Is that how strong it is in revenge mode? Or is that just normal mode? And then it doesn't tell you how strong it is. I don't know. But we also got ruinous souls. I'm going to fucking trash a tomato. Wait, isn't this a material? It's not trash. So ruinous souls. What can we craft? We can craft the blood flare armor. Which, uh, I don't know if I want to. My armor is pretty good. I consider this one of the coolest sets. So we'll, we'll just hold on to that. One of the coolest sets and like one of the best sets, honestly. And obviously, Calamity probably has one or two more sets that are better. But I really like those sets. The Genji sets. They look awesome. Shout out to Juice. But yeah, moving on. That was our first boss. I took like a long break in between making the dungeon because I went to go eat something. And uh, it feels like it's been a year. Not a year. It feels like I've been recording this episode all day. I haven't. So let's take on Eriger. Let's take on Eriger, or let's at least attempt to take on Eriger, which requires us to go ahead and get a bunch of more stuff set up. So guess what? Another jump cut. I'm gonna kill this pillar, and then I'm gonna get all the materials required. All right, we are back. What was I doing? Oh, Obsidian Core. Now, if you guys know me, oh, I didn't even set up an arena. Now that I think about it, whatever. If you guys know me, and how many times I fought Eriger? First time I fought him. Interesting experience. Experience. Interesting experience. And it wasn't that bad at all. But uh, ever since then, I noticed how shitty Eriger's AI is. And uh, <laughs> plain and simple, you know, Sacred Tools is having troubles getting their update out to fix a bunch of these bosses and make them better. Uh, because I have been told that Spriters. Are not doing what they need to do and that is spriting so if you guys are you know upcoming spriters and you want your you know sprite work to be shown on a bigger mod go to like the sacred cool sacred tools discord or just message dan slash the creator of sacred tools and just be like hey yo i'll sprite for you because that's really the only reason why sacred tools isn't coming out like i was told sacred tools ain't coming out for like another year like the next update for sacred tools 
something like that. Like it was planned to be a long time ago. Like the last time the mod updated was like a year ago. <laughs> so like I said, if you guys some upcoming spriders and you can help out sacred tools, boom bada bing. There you go. Oh, we are no longer in the biome apparently. Which is very bad because we need to be in the biome. I don't know if we can do damage to Eriger outside of the biome. Actually, I don't think Eriger needs to be in the biome. Now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure he doesn't need to be in the biome. But we'll play it safe. Yeah, I really don't like Eriger. <laughs> this boss fight just sucks. Now, like I said, first time was fun, interesting, different. Uh, after that, you start to realize the flaws. It's like when you watch a movie multiple times, you start to notice a lot, a lot of details that you missed on the first go. <clears throat> and uh, Eriger, exactly the same. I lost a chunk of my health thanks to whatever the fuck just hit me. But you may be like, Gimmers, he doesn't look so bad. You're beating his ass right now. Well, that's primarily because this is first stage. And his first stage is fairly simple. Why are we dying? <laughs> I don't know why we're dying right now. If I die to Eriger, that's just fucking embarrassing. So, oh, I'm sorry. so we have to hit him in the head at this point. Uh, the thing is, he flies really fast back and forth, if you haven't noticed already. And it is not easy to time when he's coming. You could even use the minimap. He's flying up and down right now, so it makes it even harder. Oh, here we go. Is he in his second phase already? I have no idea. This boss fight might not, might not be too bad compared to others because we do have homing weapons, a good plethora of homing items that do a lot of damage. Please kill him. Okay, thank God. That wasn't that bad, but I've had some bad experiences with this boss. Specifically, Uncle Karius, which is our fishing character, because it's a fishing character. <laughs> you can see why it would be hard to hit a boss that flies back and forth every once in a while. And you have to hit him specifically in the head. Because if you miss any of those, you know, hook shots, slash, you know, rod, if you miss the, what the fuck is it called? Bobber? If you miss the bobber slash hook, of the fishing pole you're fucked you gotta wait like another like 10 seconds for him to come around you miss again you're fucked and he'd be coming at weird angles all i'm trying to say is the boss fight can be better uh i love sacred tools it's one of my favorite mods that i've added into the mod pack kind of recently it wasn't really that recently but you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying but yeah we're gonna retire the anvil and the main reason because that because i was told that the portal gun allows you to do fast dropping which I never knew this. <laughs> I never knew this. Oh shit, we never used the death one yet. But yeah, I never knew it allowed you to drop really fast. And you know, the more you know, the merrier. I don't think that's what they say, but look, we don't need an anvil to drop down here. So we can just hold the portal gun. <laughs> now, I think the portal gun might even be faster, to be honest. It might even be faster, to be honest. We could we could test it with the miles per hour. I don't really care right now. Let's go ahead, let's toss this in here. One more boss. What's one more easy boss we can fight? We might just end it, because I don't know if there's any easy bosses. This Bumble Burb. Bumble Burb is pretty easy. Can I stop picking up my fucking accessories? Oh my god. Okay, so Burb Pheromones. Burb Pheromones. Light work. Boom. That's light work. Let's do it. Let's take on Burb, and let's end off this episode on that note. Because We hit our three boss quota. <clears throat> which if you guys don't know my goal each episode is to at least fight three bosses unless it's you know there's like a certain gimmick or some shit going on i don't know what the fuck i'm doing right now i went to the wrong teleportation thing it's taking us a good like 30 seconds to get to the right one it's the, all the way to the left one. got it oh shit oh fuck okay hold up let me uh <laughs> let me kill this pillar real quick all right let us do this burb like I said, I don't expect too many enemies or bosses to be hard anymore. We are at the point in a playthrough, which a lot of playthroughs get to, where we're strong as fuck. And that is just, that is just key. I'm gonna let it be known now. Obviously, we all know Supreme Calamitas is on this list. And I usually don't fight her, because I don't enjoy fighting her. <laughs> I beat her before, though. You never say I never beat her. And uh, I'm just let it be known. If... Well, you guys want me to fight this boss? We gotta, we gotta, you guys gotta do something for me. We gotta reach like 500 likes on a video, or we gotta, we gotta like donate a bunch of bits to my Twitch stream. Which, uh, 
if you don't want to follow my Twitch, please follow my Twitch. It's twitch.tv slash gamers on one. I fucked it up. Twitch.tv slash gamers on one is my Twitch. Please follow it. Um, let's do it. Burb time. Yeah, I'm I'm open to fighting Supreme Cal Midas like I am every play too. I can wait a couple of attempts. Honestly, I think I could easily beat Supreme Cal Midas. Let's see, definitely. I honestly think I could easily beat Supreme Cal Midas. But um why should I? <laughs> Why should I? It's a lot of work to go through the beer. And the rewards aren't really that fulfilling because the playthrough kind of ends after that. So, like, whatever I get from it, it's like, wow, I could fight a boss that I fought already with weapons from a stronger boss, the Supreme Calmetus. It's pretty much the last boss on the list. So, there's really no point in fighting here. Because it doesn't benefit me other than just being like, hey, I beat Supreme Calmetus. Well, guess what? I beat Supreme Calmetus already. What was it? The thrower character? Was it Nunderson? Might have been Nunderson. Uh, yeah, I was kind of forced to fight Supreme Calmetus, but I beat her on the spot. You know, I was forced to fight her, and I beat her on the spot. Somebody donated like $60, and they said, you better fight Supreme Calmetus, or I'm going to assassinate you. I said, hold up. I'll do it. And we beat her on the spot right there. So, you guys seen the video. I think it was a part of the series, too. Like, I'm pretty sure I put it, put that stream clip of me beating her in the video yeah that's that's my take on supreme calamitas but that the my my like opinion and shit can be said for anything why fight any boss in terraria why do anything in life am i right i'm not gaining anything from fighting bosses in terraria besides having fun i mean like i have fun playing terraria let that be known i always get a lot of comments like game readers how do you still play terraria what a good use of fucking adrena gamers how do you still play terraria without getting bored well I enjoy the game a lot. <laughs> That's the main reason. If I was bored at Terraria, and it happens every now and then where I'm like, eh, I don't feel like recording, so I just don't record an episode. But then the next day, I'm like, you know what? I feel like playing some Terraria, so let me let me hop on. That's how it is with me. So we got Red Lightning Container, Permanently Mixed Radio Mode, sure. And then obviously Treasure Bag. Oh, sweet Rogue Slash. Damn, that potion is not as good as that one. But yeah, that's how I feel about Terraria. You know, sometimes I'm feeling it. Most of the time, I'm actually feeling it. A lot of the time, for being honest, I'm feeling it. And that's why I play it so much. I don't play it just because it's like my most viewed series and the series that everyone loves the most. If you guys couldn't tell, I'm uploading a variety of series. And I'm trying to branch off from Terraria. I'm never going to stop doing Terraria. Let that be known. I will always be doing something with Terraria. Because I enjoy the game a lot. I can't wait for the update to come out. I can't wait to see what mod devs can do. You know, once Terraria has a more moddable... Uh, environment like you know I want to see like dimensions and shit I want to see like insane bosses with like all moving parts moon lord type bosses you know what I'm saying and I want to I want to be here chlorophyte gatherer uh, I want to be here to experience that you know be a part of it when shit like that happens but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the episode make sure to check out my twitch I'm gonna say it right now so I don't have to put that outro clip where I'm like hey check out my twitch make sure to check out my twitter I guess I don't know join the discord do whatever. Hope you guys are enjoying your day. I love you.